Hi, good afternoon, everyone. And Ian, thank you for the, uh, the introduction. Um, so I hope after lunch you guys are all full and I uh, hope you guys won't uh, fall asleep with my, uh, with my uh, presentation. But, but anyway, uh, let's just begin. Um, today, we're diving into this, um, how the space industry, often seen just as rockets and satellites, is merging with Earth-based businesses to create something new. It's not all about space hardware anymore. We're at a pivotal moment where your field and the space sector intersect, shaping the future for the space industry. Globally, space tech is becoming a vital tool for profit making and solving business challenges, especially with environmental shifts and major events. Our goal is to bridge the gap between the space industry and the terrestrial efforts, crafting new values and carving out a sustainable path that goes beyond just hardware and unlock the potential of the space industry for our businesses and the planet. In the space industry, we split into upstream which is the manufacturing of space equipment to launching, and downstream, where we apply these technologies or the tech to create value on Earth. The rise of this downstream leveraging space tech boosts the importance of the upstream as well. It's a tightly linked system. More use of space tech means a greater need for space equipment, elevating upstream's role in shaping our next generation and in social infrastructure. The space industry's rapid expansion is not just a result of transitioning from public entities like NASA to private startups. It's closely linked to global trends Act, uh, affecting us all, including security, digital transformation, ESG, and industrial policies. These forces are transforming industries worldwide, similar to the energy transition, indicating that the space sector growth will drive and be driven by these shifts, heralding a future rich in innovation and broad impact. Comparing, comparing the uh, industry's growth with other sectors reveals new insights. By 2030, it's projected that the space market could reach 91 trillion yen, potentially surpassing the semiconductor industry. Looking ahead to 2040, the market might expand to 155 trillion yen, nearly equivalent to 1 trillion US dollars, competing in scale with pharmaceuticals and convenience stores industries. Given these forecasts, crafting strategies to leverage industrialization for accessing high potential market is essential. And we are at a pivotal point where industries are reshaping society with scalable, convenient, and viable solutions, marking a new era of industrialization. This evolution goes beyond changing consumer behavior, embedding deeply into our social fabric. Like the Ford Model T and the smartphones, the ultimate measure of our innovation is our ability to scale quickly and set new standards. Historically, the so-called Valley of Death represents a major financial challenge in the industrialization process where projects often falter. Overcoming this requires 
securing sufficient funding. The transition from research and development to industrialization demands not only different manufacturing processes, but also varied levels of financial investments. It's crucial to develop mechanisms that effectively utilize government subsidies, direct and indirect financing, tailored to specific needs of each phase, ensuring the successful continuation and completion of industrialization efforts. We believe the key word is bankability to tackle this issue. In Japan's evolving industrial landscape, a shift towards a collaborative, diversified, and strategically positioned approach is essential. We're transitioning from a traditional government and academia-led model to a comprehensive or holistic industry, government, academia, finance partnership, fostering a dynamic ecosystem. By moving away from reliance on public procurement and diversifying our fund sources, we enhance our competitiveness and financial robustness. Embracing a demand-driven global market outlook. Rather than solely focusing on new technology, aligns us more closely with international needs. Additionally, leveraging Japan's unique strength to carve out a distinct global position ensures our resilience and sustainability, making this holistic strategy vital for global market success. Japan's space development strategy requires enhanced policy coordination in demand funding, supply, and rules and platform. For example, Japan's space sector heavily depends on government funding, necessitating private investments for future expansion. Financial institutions face challenges in predicting cash flows highlighting the need for government collaboration to establish effective funding mechanisms. Furthermore, setting up rules for satellite data use, including ESG considerations, and creating cross-industry platforms are vital to stimulate demand for commercial space stations, marking key strategy for sector growth. Let me share a little tip with all you all on expanding, you know, expanding our funding. And I hope to draw a little smile with this. Have you ever stopped to ponder just how much potential investors, be they corporations or financial institutions, are on edge about climate change? Now imagine how attractive solutions and initiatives that promise resolutions or collaborations in this area appear to them. So I won't say any more today. Hopefully we have a further discussion on this topic later in the future. The significance of sustainability within the space sector is on the rise. At MUFG, we have identified three pivotal areas of space sustainability. Number one, in space, obviously. Number two, on Earth, and also in business operations, particularly the manufacturing of space equipment. These elements are deeply interconnected. With the surge in launches, the issue of space debris underscores the urgent need for sustainability in space to ensure the future viability of space as vital social infrastructure. Additionally, as a financial institution, we recognize the escalating importance of sustainability on Earth 
including climate change initiatives and private application of Earth observation technologies as critical areas poised for growth. As an additional note, MEFG is actively contributing to regional economic growth through various spaceport developments. This slide examines the economic impact of landing Sierra Space's Dream Chaser in Oita Prefecture. By 2040, it's projected to significantly benefit both Japan as a whole and Oita Prefecture. However, the crucial takeaway I'd like to emphasize is the substantial economic spillover effects on the non-space industry. This aspect is particularly noteworthy, highlighting the broader, transformative potential of spaceport development beyond the immediate confines of the space sector itself. Okay, so wrapping up, we have touched on three major points today about the space industry's path forward. First, it's clear the space industry is shaping various sectors, leading tech innovations and building new partnerships like never before. Second, the idea of bankability stands out. It's about aligning efforts across industries, governments, academia, and financial bodies to draw in investments and kickstart innovation in space projects. And third, the emphasis on sustainability is critical. We are all in to ensure the ongoing success and safety of space endeavors, protecting what we have out there. These points are key to pushing the space industry ahead, driving economic growth, and ensuring we manage our outer space thoughtfully for those for next generations. So let's keep up the momentum going for a sustainable space for our future. Thank you very much for your attention and your joining the summit today. Thank you.